I have a branch, I want to cut it down, and I got this nice, small, portable chainsaw. The safety, the trigger, gonna cut. Natiti makes a excellent portable chainsaw. And where can you use this? You may never know. If a tree branch falls down, you want to cut it up like I just did. That's what this is good for. It's good for just about anything that you need to remove in the gardening area. If you need to trim some trees, you climb up safely and you use the unit. Don't use it for a bigger project. There are tools made for that. This is made for those small projects and very portable and on the go. So I don't see people taking this for camping, cutting up the logs and using wood. They may do so. This is great for around the house. Now let's show you what this comes with. Everything you see here, a pair of gloves that will fit a nice large hands, the charging cable, Two batteries where the charging cable goes in may be difficult at first, but that's where it goes, dead center. On the power support, a red light to green light when fully charged. 21 volt, 2000 mAh battery, going to last you a long time. A Phillips screwdriver, a oil container, less the oil. A spare chain. A pair of safety glasses with string you can hang, no string included. And the portable chainsaw with the safety switch on the side that you press in and pull the trigger to initiate. A safety guard as lifts when you cut deeply in. You may look at the instructions to see the depth of wood you can cut. And I cut a small branch like butter. You don't get air plugs, but on the side over here, in the handle, don't forget the Allen key. On the bottom, it comes out with a precision Phillips screw. In order to use this, simply just slide the battery in, pull the trigger, make sure the hands are clear, and give a test run. I always take the battery out for extra safety precaution. And of course, a nice carrying case that carries everything that you see here. There are days I wish I had a chainsaw and I use a handsaw all the time. This would do just fine. Now, there are ways to take this apart, change the blade out and all that good stuff. We can show you that. And I demonstrated on how to cut a piece of wood. So let's go do a live demonstration of taking care of a small branch. I'm going to cut again for you. You could cut no matter what size you want. You could go play some uh, checkers, color these black and red, and off you go. Whenever opening up, remember the name that's on the top and how things come out. Always important to go over the instruction booklet that they give you because this will help you go through the very easy steps of changing out the blade. On the chainsaw, let's just go over some things. If you look right about here, this is where you loosen and tighten the chain tensioner. It goes right there. You get yourself one of these that are in the handle, and that's where you can take this in case it loosens up when you're out in the field. You could tighten up. When changing the chain, what you're going to do is you're going to take this knob, it takes off the cover shield. You take the cover shield off. And now you take the guide, and you could open this up, and you could simply just 
do this. But before you do all this, you want to make sure the battery is out. And you simply remove the guide. And now you come in here and you can see a real close-up shot of where that screwdriver went. And that's where you're going to loosen. And when you put everything back together again for the final touches, you start to tighten. We have a spare chain. I believe it doesn't matter which way they go. Because they alternate on the cutting pattern. You take it off of the guide, you put the new one on, and you can come in here and you can start to grease up the guide if you like. And when everything is all lined up correctly, you simply just hold everything to the bottom, nice and tight. You line up. Slide the guide over, bring it on to the actual gear that runs the unit. Lift up, make sure everything falls into place. So it takes about a minute to change the blade. And you're going to put it back into this pinhole right here. It takes a couple of seconds to do. Take your time. Don't rush. Something is not sitting correctly. And that's why I'm having just a little difficulty. So I rotate things around. And there we go. I snap it into the guideline. We're in. You take the cover, match it up to the bolt, the nut, tighten. You don't need to make this super tight, but make it tight enough you don't lose it. And if this is loose, because you changed everything, you come in here, fail for the Phillips, then you give it a little tightening turn. As noted in the instructions, there is a caution. You read first, make sure the battery's out, and then you change your chain. If you need to place oil on your chain, you can do so with the small container excluding the oil that you need for the unit. Only and when only you're operating the machine and getting ready to use it. Then you put your battery in and you can run it. When not using the machine, please pull down, pull the battery out, store away. The case has different areas so you could put things away. If these folded in, this would have been great. Don't lose anything. Make sure you have everything in its right place. When you're all finished, store everything away. Don't throw this piece of paper out because this will tell you the exact size change if you ever need to get a replacement once and store things away. They're not titty. Chainsaw Portable can go just about anywhere, and I hope you enjoy your product if you decide this is right for you on those small garden tasks. You'll be very amazed on this unit and what it can do. I hope you enjoy yours if you decide on getting this product. Have a great day.